so in today's session we'll uh, learn on how to create like multiple tabs how we usually have like in a internet explorer for example in this google chrome we have this tab one tab two tab three and tab four right so if similar thing we have to create in tab loop how to do that so first i will show you an example that i have already built okay so this is like a very minimal dashboard that i created with multiple tabs so for example here this is the summary page if i want to go to the next tab that is the lollipop chart i can click over here then similarly if i want to go to a stack bar i can go over here okay so it looks like three different tabs how we usually have in an internet explorer right so let's begin with that so first uh, i will delete these three dashboards that i have already created so that i can show it to you from scratch how to do that so delete okay so now the first step is to create the summary page or basically the first tab okay so what i will do uh first step i will maybe take this dual axis chart that i created okay uh, into the dashboard bring the title okay i will name the title as summary page okay done and this is my dual axis chart i will remove the title to avoid any confusion okay and also name this dashboard as summary okay now the second step is to bring a horizontal container between the title the dashboard title and your visualizations okay so i brought this uh, horizontal container over here okay and then we have to start bringing this navigation button into this horizontal container okay it depends on like how many tabs you have so i will bring uh, three tabs so i will bring three navigation buttons over here okay so now we have three navigation buttons right now another the next step is to bring a line so that to differentiate between the tabs and the lower visualizations so what i will do i will just bring one blank container between these navigation buttons and our visualization i will go to layout make the background as black outer padding zero and the height of this container i will just keep it as two so that it just show as a line okay. so now this is how your summary page is looking now do you see there is a little bit of uh, you know padding between these buttons and this line so i will what i will do i will uh, make this padding as zero for all the three navigation buttons okay and i will adjust the height make it as 35 that's it okay so our first summary page is ready okay. now what i will do to avoid uh, you know rework what i will do i will just create a duplicate of this uh, summary dashboard that we have created okay and i will rename this as lollipop chart and the third one as stack bar okay. and now let's go to the lollipop chart uh, i will remove this one instead of that i will bring the lollipop chart over here okay remove these and then i will go to the third dashboard bring the stack bar over here and remove the previous one okay and i will remove the error titles as a good okay so now we have these three dashboards ready right but you see the navigation buttons uh, doesn't is not working right now and it doesn't have any headers okay so what we'll have to do go to the summary page click on the first one and point it to the summary itself okay because this will be pointing to the to this particular dashboard only i will give the title as summary 
okay background i will keep little grayish so that we know that okay we are in this particular tab click apply okay now let's go to the second navigation button point it to the lollipop chart dashboard give the header name background i will give none click apply okay and similarly for the third navigation button point it to the stack bar put the title as stack bar background again none apply okay so now we have the three tabs ready in our first summary page okay now the same operation we have to do in the other two dashboards as well okay because that is very important otherwise only your uh, first dashboard tabs will work and when you go to the another tab then you won't be able to come back to the first tab okay so i will do the same thing over here point this to summary background none apply okay this one point to lollipop chart name it as lollipop and this one will be grayish because uh, we are in this particular tab right go to the last one stack bar name it as stack bar font color background none apply okay so basically in whichever tab you are for that particular tab uh, navigation button that will be grayish the other two will be transparent now we are going to the last dashboard the first one will be summary none apply okay second is the lollipop chart name it as pop background none okay and now the last tab stack bar background little bit grayish because we are in the stack bar dashboard only okay save now go to the presentation mode and voila your dashboard and the tabs are ready so if you click on summary it will take you to the summary page click on lollipop it will take you to the lollipop chart similarly if you take click on the stack bar it will take you to the stack bar and also you will have this uh, hover message as well okay. so that's it this is how we create tabs in tab view for any question please uh, mention in the comment section and i will get back to you thank you so much for watching